we have y is equal to x square or y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 these four the area enclosed by these four is revolved around x is equal to 1 and we need to a volume is generated as a result and we need to find that volume now this is a parabola here if we draw that and this is x is equal to 1 and then another straight line x is equal to 2 and then y is equal to 0 is the x-axis so we can say this is x is equal to 2 x is equal to 1 and this is the parabola y is equal to x square now the difference here is uh, it is revolved around x is equal to 1 uh, in the previous video we saw similar problems but that those were revolves, uh, revolved around y-axis but in this case it's revolved around this straight line and we need to find the volume that's generated using cylindrical shell method so we will apply the same uh, strategy before as before so this is let's take a small section with thickness of dx and this is revolved around this one and when this is revolved around this one we will generate a cylindrical shell which will look like something like this and yeah basically so this is dx and the height here which is this one this is fx or y so that's the height which is fx and then we have the radius which is the distance from basically from from this distance sorry this is the distance which average x of course because this thickness is very small dx we are talking about differential uh, thickness so this radius this length is actually x minus uh, x minus 1 because this is this whole thing is x this whole length is x and this much is 1 because that this straight line is sorry this straight line is x is equal to 1 so this thickness is x minus 1 so radius is now x minus 1 so r is x minus 1 fx which is the function or y is x square and then dx so when we are talking about cylindrical shell the area of the surface area of the cylindrical shell is 2 pi r h as we know so 2 pi r is x minus 1 and h is fx and when we talk about the volume of that we multiply by the thickness which is dx so this is just one shell but we need to integrate it from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 2 to, to uh, add all the all the cylindrical shells that is generated so all all the cylindrical shells basically so 2 pi here and x minus 1 fx and dx so all the cylindrical shells that are generated are being uh, integrated uh, x minus 1 and here this is x square dx so this is becoming 2 pi 1 2 x cube minus um, x square dx so that's 2 pi here so that would be x to the power 4 over 4 minus and this would be x cube over 3 and 2 1 here so that would be 2 pi and this would be 16 over 4 minus 8 over 3 and then minus uh, 1 over 4 plus 1 third so that would be 48 here uh, sorry 12 here and then 48 minus 32 minus 3 plus 4 so that gives 2 pi times 17 over 12 which is 17 pi over 6 cubic unit so that's the that's the volume generated 
so the only difference here is this is rotated the area is rotated about another straight line and then we have to be careful about finding the radius which will not be just x um, it has to it will be something else and we need to be careful about that when it's revol uh, revolved around another straight line